Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back. So a couple of days ago I asked you guys to send me in some questions because I wanted to do another Q&A video and here it is now. Um, I've chosen out the most unique questions. There were a lot that were repeated as well um, that I did in the last Q&A video so I'm not going to be answering them. If you want to go check them out, um, I'll put a link in the description um, for the first Q&A video that I did which will probably answer them that are not answered in this video today. But before we start, I just want to mention that yesterday was the hottest day ever that we've ever had in Adelaide. So I live in Adelaide, um, Australia, and it was the hottest day ever. It record, I think it was 46 um, Celsius, which is freaking hot. Um, I stayed in all day, didn't go anywhere. Let's not get sidetracked too much and actually get straight into the question. So I'm using something a little bit more um, modern and I'm using my phone um, to get the questions. I've wrote them down on uh, my little notepad that I've got in here. So let's start with the first one. Question one. So this first question was actually asked by multiple people so there's no one specifically asking this one and this was what goals do I have for 2014? Now I, I don't really have much goals because I wanted to keep it simple like if you have just one goal you'll stick to it. Like, if you have multiple, it's harder. So, what I want to do this year for 2014 is to eat healthier. Now, you might be thinking, oh, I'm already skinny as. Um, but, it, that doesn't really matter. You're supposed to eat healthy no matter what, even if you're skinny. Um, so, my goal is to eat healthy. I like, I really like to eat salad sandwiches and stuff um, for lunch, but I want to start eating a bit more healthy um, for dinner time in the morning, like now, I'm actually buying some pretty yummy cereal which is really good, got nutrients and stuff in it. Um, but I'm still kind of having a bit of that junk food and stuff, so it's it's not really just full healthy. I'm trying to slowly merge into eating healthy, but, but hopefully I can do it this year. Question two. So this question is asked by a person called Riley and he says, what will be the next mod you make? Now, I've actually kind of thought about this, but it's probably not going to happen. But I really wanted to create some sort of farming mod. Now, there are like farming mods out there, um, but none of them have really been outstanding, like, just out there, like, unique to, the, to all of them. So, if I was to create another mod, I would create a farming mod, and it would be very unique to the uh, rest of them like my construction mod, people had instant buildings mod but they weren't really impressive and then my construction mod um, just really was a completely different which is one of one of the things why it is so popular now. It's already got like a pop, it's already a popular thread on Minecraft forums which is quite amazing. I think there's at least 40,000 downloads already which is crazy not knowing that it's only been out for about a month and a half, and half now. So thank you to anybody that has downloaded that mod, by the way. But yeah, that kind of answers my question. If I was going to do another one, I would do a farming type. Question three. So I'm pretty sure I've answered this one before, but this question comes from a person. Actually, this came from multiple people, my bad. Uh, but they said, how did I learn redstone? Now, yeah, I don't really know how I really learned it, but um, if you guys know Brenny Beast, he's another Australian YouTuber. Um, he did a lot of redstone in his videos and somehow I just kind of slowly started to understand it and then I created my like experiment world which you guys have probably seen before. Started playing around with stuff and I was like hey this is kind of easy so um, I just played around and just learned it like that. I didn't really watch much tutorials either like I'd look at some just to get like ideas and stuff but I never really watched them to learn actual redstone. I just learned it myself somehow so that's really how I learnt redstone and I'll link um, Brenny Beast's channel in the description just because that's where I learned it from. Question 4! So this next question comes from a person called Alex and he asks where do you see yourself in five years? So this is a quite interesting question because I kind of have an idea, I was thinking about it like um, before, um, but I really I really want to keep, I really want to keep working um, on YouTube because it's a really fun thing to do making videos um, but unfortunately it probably won't be gaming videos and what I have um, instead is to do vlogs. Now um, I really like 
I actually really like the vlogs if you guys don't know. Um, I follow two main people, they're called uh, Boyfriend vs Girlfriend, you've probably heard them before, um, Jesse and Gina. And I also follow um, another small, small vlog channel called Ty Moss. Um, they're quite interesting as well and I like to watch them. And what I would like to see myself in five years is actually doing my dream job plus doing vlogging as well because I think that would be a quite interesting vlogging channel. Now my dream job is doing some sort of coding and stuff so it would be amazing if I could work on coding at home. That would be just so amazing. Maybe I could start my own business as well. That would just be amazing. I'm not sure if I'd be able to start my own business in coding, um, but we'll, we're gonna, we'll see what happens. Um, it's a big, big year ahead of me, 2014, because I'm in year 12 right now. Um, but yeah, that's really where I want to see myself. I want to see myself coding, and I want to see myself vlogging, which would be quite cool. So yeah, that hopefully that answers your question. Question five. This next question comes from a person called Ryan and he asks, on a scale from carrot to potato, how do you think the Prime Minister of Australia is affecting New Zealand's cabbage growing plants? Does this affect your daily life? As a Canadian, I am very affected. Okay, I'm gonna have to go with potato on that one. Question six. This next question comes from a person called Adim. I think it's supposed to be Adam, just his username. He changed it with two E's instead of the A before the M. Uh, but he asks, when are you going to update your mods to 1.7.2 or 1.7.4? And the question is, I don't really know yet because MCP, uh, I know like there is a version out, there's beta um, out right now, but the problem is there's no class Oh, there is class mapping, but there's no names. And what I mean by names is that it comes up as this horrible text, which you don't know what it does. And usually um, these names are suggested by the modders. So um, once that has been cleared, I'll actually be able to update it because I'll know what the stuff does. Right now, it looks like this text. I'll put it on the screen right now of an example of what it looks like. Yes, you don't know what that does. It's function whatever we don't know what that does so we're gonna wait till they get converted into actual some sort of name that you can understand question seven do you have any hidden talents by Nalbus um, what's this skill lens cap nose You don't see this daily, you don't see this. This is something that you would only see by a couple of people. Don't don't try that at home, kids. Don't try that at home. That, that falls. Life gone. Question eight. All right, now this is kind of getting a little bit personal. Um, this question comes from a person called Sand Fortress, and he asks, who is she? So if you guys follow me on Twitter, you might be getting the idea that I've actually met someone, and I have, and her name is Charlotte. So she is one of the most amazing, prettiest girls I've ever met. Her smile is really cute as well. Going all shy now, because um, she's probably going to be watching this video, because um, I told her that I'm making this, so I'm going to be talking about her in it, because people have asked. But yeah, she is really amazing and we have a lot in common as well. A um, couple of things that we have in common is we love games and we love the same music and they're really two important things in my life. Um, I really love games and I love listening to music and to have a girl that likes exactly the same thing is um, quite amazing and I'm really glad that I've met her. So it's quite a long story as well. Um, for the whole year we've been in the same class, um, one being photography and one being um, digital um, art. So we were in the same classes but we never really spoke to each other. Um, there was a couple of times where we did. Um, I think I had like Jaffa cakes out at one point and she's like, oh yeah, I like those. Um, because she's actually English as well, which is really cool. Um, she's, a, she's really different to other girls and that's what I really like about her. She's not one of those ones that's bitchy and all that stuff and just gets like drinks and stuff. She's not one of those. She's like a quiet girl. Um, she's really pretty 
and she is really good at art as well. I'll put some pictures on the screen right now that she actually did for me, which is quite amazing. So this first one was a, um, a picture of Farmer Cray just jumping up in the air, which was quite cool. I really love it. Um, and this next one is a picture of this is a picture of Farmer Cray dancing with her, which she is a bunny, which is um, a really good picture as well. And I love both of them already. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. I'm just like too shy. I'm too shy to talk. But yeah, she is an amazing girl, and hopefully that answers your question, Sand Fortress, and the rest of the people that were curious. Question nine. So this next question comes from my web developer, and he says. Do you have any YouTube goals for this year? Um, I kind of do, and I want to try and um, get up to possibly 50,000, 70,000 subscribers, which would be crazy. It'd be crazy if I got 100,000, but it's possible because in a whole year, I'll tell you wait, let me think. In a whole year, I think, um, I like, I don't know, quadrupled my subscribers. I went from like maybe 2,000 to 27,000, which is crazy. So if it goes at that rate, I'm gonna be maybe 100,000 by the end of the year, which is gonna be crazy. Um, but it might be a little bit complicated because I'm in year 12 right now. There's gonna be a lot of work to do and it's just gonna be hard finding time to actually make videos, but I'm gonna be doing my best. Probably won't be daily videos just because there'll be too much work that I have to do at school, unfortunately. But I'm gonna do my best, guys, to keep up um, this year on my YouTube channel. Question 10. 10. So this last question comes from a person called Ninjix, and he asks, what got you interested to start coding? Well, all my life, I've kind of, um, I've kind of been one of those people that wants to know how stuff works and I've really just been brainy and been really good at maths and stuff and when I saw coding, I, like, I first started doing Minecraft coding um, I really just like thought, hey this is quite easy and I can start making my own mods and stuff like that and then that led me into Java and creating my own programs and creating my own games and stuff and I don't know, it's just really like technical. It's not really technical, it's quite simple, but a lot of people don't understand it and that's what I really like about it. That it's, I don't know, it's just mind boggling and stuff. That's what I really like about it. So that wraps up this video today. Hopefully you enjoyed this Q&A today. If you have some questions, leave them in the comments. You can use the hashtag AskCray and I'll answer them in the next video that I do. So hopefully you enjoyed and remember to leave a like and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Magical outro.